Hey, it's Connor. A couple of years ago, I remember a uh, new GoPro video camera in a pool over the summer. Um, myself, a friend, we were making videos as we swam to the wall to do a tumble turn to see how we could uh, perfect the tumble turn in swimming. And I remember as I watched the video of my friend swimming, it was you know as minimum drag as possible. All the power in his swimming stroke was, was just moving forward. Looking at my swimming, my body looked like it was just a drag and every bit of power that I was putting into my swimming was count counteracted by the drag of my body just breaking against the water. And so to improve my swimming, it was much more important to reduce the drag than to increase the power. And I think for many of us, this is a similar thing in life. If you could just get rid of the things that make life hard without actually putting more energy into the, the good things, that in itself would massively improve, improve life. If you stop eating crap, hanging out with the wrong people, doing the wrong things, that alone, just stopping the drag on your life has a much greater effect than putting emphasis and power into the things that could be really good. And I remember, Again, another memory of a holiday. When, when my father turned 70, we spent some time in France right next to the, a, a big river. And I remember myself and my brother would go walking about a mile up the river and launch ourselves into the river on floating, the sort of pool floaty devices. And we just let ourselves float the mile down the river down to where we were staying. And at the beginning, we stayed quite close together. But as we, over the course of weeks, got used to this, we would just let ourselves, let the current take us. And there was one time when my brother started just two meters to the, to the left of where I launched, but he was very quickly caught in a fast current that took him out in the left side of the river, fast current, and he must have ended, you know, got to the bottom three, four times faster than, than me. And what struck me is if I had spent all my time paddling ferociously in the direction that I wanted to go, I would never have caught him. But if I just paddled a little bit to the left and got into the fast flowing part of the water, that would have made more difference than all the energy directed to the direction I wanted to go. And on the course I was teaching this Thursday and Friday, I remember one of the participants, their reflection was sometimes the shortest distance between two points is not a straight line. Sometimes the most rapid way of getting to the destination that we want to get to is not by heading straight at it. It's by looking up and seeing, you know, maybe just over here, there's, there's a, a current that will take me much faster to the destination. Anyway, this is Connor up in the mountains near Olot. Uh, sunset over the mountains. Have a good one. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscribes. Great to have you uh, making, interacting with the channel, making uh, these videos seem like it's a participatory process. Have a good one.